हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी क्वेश्चन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एस एफ ई ई इन शॉर्ट and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel to get regular updates from my channel i post these videos these kind of videos daily and if you find this video helpful please press the like button and do share this video also check out my website and all the other videos all the links are in the description now the steady flow energy equation it is this equation h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus gz1 plus q dot is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus w dot now here H1 and H2 they denote the enthalpies at inlet and outlet respectively. C1 square by 2, C2 square by 2. These term denote the kinetic energy at inlet and outlet respectively. Gz1 and Gz2 these represent the potential energy at inlet and outlet respectively. Q dot is the heat input or the heat rejected per unit time. So when we write for per unit time, we put dot over the symbol. So Q dot. Similarly, the W dot is work gained. or the work output per unit time so this is the general sfe now if you have any question now this is for any system that is when the motion is flowing that is in open system and uh, if you apply this to turbine or compressor then according to the problem you see what is equal to zero if the if there if there is turbine or suppose if there is compressor or if the flow is in open channel then z1 and z2 because the datum head they will get cancelled because there is no height all right so z1 and z2 will get cancelled similarly if you have any problem that uh, the heat interaction is zero so you put q dash q dot equal to zero and uh, if you uh, it is given that c1 is zero or c2 is zero that is the kinetic energy that is the velocity at inlet is zero or velocity at outlet is zero so this is the main general form equation in this equation you can substitute the required values and the term sometime they get cancelled sometime if it is given that c1 is zero or sometime it is given c2 is zero or sometime it is given q dot is zero sometime it is given that these two datum are similar so gz1 and gz2 get cancelled so according to your problem you can apply this equation and you can find out uh, w the work output or any unknown term if the other term are known so you can solve any kind of problem regarding sfe and i hope you have understood this steady flow energy equation and one more thing that here since if the mass flow rate is constant throughout then the mass flow rate gets cancelled from both the side so do not get confused and confuse that Uh, here kinetic energy is m mv square by 2 that is mc1 square by 2 and where is m and the potential energy is given by mgh that is mgz1 so the mass term gets cancelled from both sides because the mass flow rate is same so it is written equation is written per unit mass all right so i hope you have understood this video and if you have found this video helpful please share this video and please press the subscribe button and do follow me on facebook google plus and twitter all the links are in the description below if you have any doubt suggestion or feedback please mention in the comment section do watch my other videos also many of the links are appearing on your screen right now till next time take care bye bye